remove this uh, engine cover. We'll replace the oil filter now. You're going to be needing a T30 Torx screwdriver for uh, removing this bolt here. Careful, this can, you know, fall down as it had happened with me once and I had to get some set of replacement screws. Let me just run this part out. Now this is the oil filter assembly. Insert a 32mm socket with an extension so you can reach this assembly here. Pull the filter out. There's going to be a small gap to pull it out. So be careful with that. Can you get that? There's going to be a lot of oil that's uh, going to spill. So be careful about that. This filter, as you can see, is uh, inserted into this assembly here. You'll have to pull it out along with the O-rings. There are three O-rings in this assembly here. There's one here, there's one here, and the one at the tip. You're going to have to pull this out. Now you can see that in the oil filter cavity here, there's some leftover oil there. We are going to have to suck that out with a syringe. I have this uh, 50 ml uh, Despovan syringe which I got from the farmer. Suck whatever remaining oil is there inside this uh, cavity and clean that area. You can see that this uh, cavity is clear. Now you're going to need to remove these uh, O-rings from the filter assembly. A flat blade screwdriver works best. Unfortunately, I did not carry that. So I've got to make do with this reamer tool from the puncture repair kit. Now this is your new filter. It will be a good idea to prime this filter once. So you're going to have to pour some engine oil into the container. Insert the new O-rings into the assembly. There are three of them. But before that, let's... Uh, You're going to need about 800 ml over the 3.5 liter container so i poured about 800 ml into this uh, measuring jar we'll use this for priming the o-rings and uh, the filter There you go. So all the O-rings are in place. We're going to prime this uh, filter. Just dip it once. And the filter goes in only one direction. So you have to be careful about that. Once your filter is primed, notice that the lettering part goes to the top side. They have written your top. Start firm and clean. Insert it into the cavity. It's going to take a little bit of a prodding. Just 
just do some basic tightening there and then you can tighten it with the spanner. Tighten the filter assembly back. Now once you're done tightening, just clean the surrounding areas for any stray oil that may have fallen. So that completes the oil filter replacement. Once your oil filter assembly is set in place, we can put this back. Be careful, this screw has a tendency to, you know, put this coolant hose back. Once you're done, replace the engine cover back. 